What's happening, everybody? It is Friday afternoon, and it is time for another Thrifty Haul. I know you probably just saw us last night, but hey, we're back again today. Two shows in less than 24 hours. Just how our schedules worked out. I'm your one host, Vegas J. I'm Philly Nay. Hi, everybody. And we have a very special guest today. Introduce yourself, please, guest. Hey, it's Margaret, and I am Texas Gal Treasures. Yay! Hey, hey Margaret. <laughs> so those of you who know, who watch our shows... Um, we always do haul videos uh, from time to time, and we're trying to do more. Sometimes it's mine, sometimes it's nay, sometimes it's both, and then we usually have a guest from time to time. And I thought, what better guest to have than Margaret, because Margaret does her own haul videos, and Margaret is a lot of fun. She's a goofball, and uh, she knows it, and she shares it. Is that a is that a fair assessment, Margaret? Absolutely. All right, cool. I hate for you to be like, uh, no, jerk. What are you talking about? What? I'm serious. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, so I thought three of us, uh, we all have uh, some thrifted goodies here, and I haven't seen my other two uh, cohort stuff, but I'm going to guess we have a ver good variety of things here. So, uh, Nay has a very barky dog in the background, so just as a heads up, she will be mutant from time to time, but when she's talking, if the dogs are barking, that is just life when you work out of your house. <laughs> some of us have big dogs, some of us have tiny dogs that sleep all day, so, you know, you can't avoid it. Uh, I'm going to jump us off here. And I'm going to start with clothes. Now, I, I have almost exclusively clothes from this haul because uh, those of you who have savers near you should know that they always have a, a sale on the Monday holidays. And uh, I'm going to impress upon you uh, a point that when they have the Monday sales, they also do the sale the day before on Sunday if you have this handy-dandy Super Saver shopper card. And it's easy. You just get it at the front counter. There's no high-tech... Uh, sending in some blood samples, nothing involved. So all day Sunday, there's been people buying at half price and all day Monday. And we didn't even get there on Monday until, uh, I think we got to the first door at like 9.30 or 10. So it's already been open for a while, and then we hit three. So by the time we hit the third one, it was like 2, 2.30, and we were still finding good stuff. So don't think that if you're not there when it opens, you shouldn't go. Because not everyone knows what you know, what I know, what Margaret knows, what Nadine knows. So keep that in mind, uh, but I'm going to jump off and show you some of my stuff, and um, we'll probably bounce over to Margaret. Uh, so I don't think I don't think we'll do it straight through today. So we'll just keep bouncing back and forth, and we'll share our goodies with you. All right. So uh, some of these aren't amazing, but just you know, bread and butter type items and half price day. I definitely uh, buy uh, lesser things because they're cheaper. So here's a nice Margaritaville T-shirt. It was only two bucks. Uh, the cool thing is it has a seaplane on it, and here's a little tip, so get your pen and paper ready. Jimmy Buffett owns and flies a seaplane. His seaplane is called uh, Hemisphere Dancer, and every time you see a seaplane on Margaritaville stuff, that's his seaplane, Hemisphere Dancer. So that's some extra keywords. If you're not a Buffett head, a parrot head, you won't know that, but trust me, the fans who will buy this shirt will know that. So this is 2 bucks. I'd probably get $20 for it. Cool. Did you, did you learn something new right there, Margaret? Yeah, about the seaplane. My, yeah. my father was a big Jimmy Buffett fan, so I should have known that. <laughs> now, this one's a bummer because uh, it's missing a button, and I'll show you why it's a real bummer. It's going to be tough. But I had never seen this vintage brand of uh, Hawaiian shirts. It's Luca. She lives on the second floor. Mm -hmm. uh, original Luca of Long Beach, so it wasn't even Hawaii. But it's a great uh, bar cloth pattern in great shape. And it's got what's called the coin buttons. Problem is, it's missing one right in the middle. And these are not just, you don't just waltz down to Joanne Fabrics and pick these up. So uh, I'll have to sell it as is. I do have a bag of buttons, old buttons. I'm, I'll look through. And uh, hopefully there is uh, a button in there like that. Oh, another tip on Jimmy Buffett. Most people screw it up. Buffett has two T's, not one. Ooh. Keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, staying in the same vein of Hawaiian shirts. Uh, this is a rain spooner, and it's older based on the tag. This is probably uh, 80s or 90s, early 90s. Oops, this way. And this is what – now, this one's going to be a little tougher to tell, but this one's called reverse print. 
So it's more vibrant on the inside than the outside. Huh. But, but above all that, this is a great nautical one, you know. And what you're going to want to do in a shirt like this is pull the fish out. So that's a wahoo right there in the middle or a dolphin fish. We got a sailfish down there, swordfish, marlin, whatever. So pull those things out. And then I don't know boats, but I'm sure there's a generic term for this type of boat. Same thing. You're going to want to pull that out. So besides the fact it's rain spooner and it's nautical and it's fishing and it's somewhat vintage, you know, uh, a fishing nerd is going to be looking for uh, a shirt with wahoo on it. Oh, wait. Is my wife giving me grief already? I see LOL Stacy. What? Oh, no, somebody, somebody said one of these days he's going to throw something over his shoulder and we're going to hear a pug freak out from oh. getting hit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to save this one shirt for last because I actually have to, uh, I have to model it. Oh. All right, now, and some of, you, some of you who watch my periscopes have seen a few of these things because I teased them this week, but not everyone watches my periscopes, so I'm definitely showing you. One of the um, brands of jeans you're always hunting for is Jenko. That is J-N-C-O. Uh, they are back in business after being out of business for about 15 years, but they're not making the jeans like they used to. Jenko used to have wide pant legs, like each pant leg, would be like 36 inches wide. Not the waist, each pant leg. And all these little hip-hop wannabe kids would wear them and the pockets would be super deep. Uh, but so not only do do the jeans sell really well, so do the shirts. So here's a Jenko shirt I picked up. It's got some great graphics on the back. Oops. It's got some great graphics. So that's the back, and that'll be my main shot because of the cool graphics. And it's got the flames on the bottom. But I, I'm thinking this shirt is like a 40, 40 to fifty dollars shirt, and I paid uh, two bucks for it. <laughs> this will be great at Christmas time. My wife found this one. Star uh. Wars, Darth Vader, and uh, this one I think is already sold to someone who watched the Periscope. But I did I did a little more reading of the actual shirt that I should have shared on the Periscope. Uh, this is a, a redo of a Def Leppard Def, Def Leppard tour shirt. So there it is ah. from the High and Dry Tour of 1981. But what's cool is this brand makes limited edition. So the tag says all you need to know, one of 500 in the world. Huh. So that's pretty cool. So somebody saw my Periscope and said, oh, what size is that? I said, large. They're like, oh, I'm a large. I'm like, are you interested? They're like, very much so. I'm like, all right, let me use it for this show, and then we'll talk. So this might already be sold. I love it when that happens. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to show one more shirt, and then we'll jump off to one of you. Now, I show this on the Periscope, and right away, my co-host Nadine and my friend Teresa said, who the hell is that? So let's try it with the crowd here. So how many do we have live? We have 60 live right now. Okay, this is a Hawaiian shirt. It's not all that exciting, but it's nice. It's got some nice greens. It's got dolphins on it. But here's the brand. Classic Henry Hill. Now, Margaret, do you know who Henry Hill is or was? Well, is it from the movie that I'm thinking of? You are very – oh, ding, ding, ding. Yes, I Henry knew Hill. After, I knew after or yeah. I, I have seen the movie. But. You calling me a clown? Nah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Am I funny? Uh, fun, am I funny to you? Yeah, so Henry Hill was a mobster for the little cheesy crime family. They arrested him. He flipped on the whole family and somehow avoided getting killed his entire life. And created a shirt line. Now he is dead now, uh, per his health, not by per uh, a slit throat mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. But it's a cool because there wasn't a lot sold, so it's kind of cool. And so one of the most awesome movies of the 20th century is about him. So that I think this is a really cool find. Yeah, absolutely. No, not the Music Man, Henry Hill. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is Goodfellas, Henry Hill. Yes, he was a rat, and I'll be happy to sell his shirts. <laughs> All right, Nate. We want to go to you or to Margaret. Oh, Margaret, okay. <laughs> should the I start with Margaret? So what you got, Margaret? Do you, should I start with bigs or smalls? Oh, whatever you want. Surprise us. Okay, I, I'll start with bigs. I, I found a bunch of vintage games. Okay. Yeah, let's see some games. I'm reaching. So this is the first one. It's called the Great Stampede. You see it? Yep. Cool. Okay, so that was a dollar. Um. And from what I can see, they're going from twenty to fifty bucks, depending. Like, there's one on Amazon that's fifty, and there was a sold for twenty-five, so it's kind of in that range. 
And then, and, uh, one thing I'm going to add to that, I don't know his name, but my uncle was a fan of that artist's work. So not only should you sell the game, but figure out who painted that picture and put his name in the listing. Oh, yeah. Courtesy of Ammon Carter Museum, Fort Worth. So I bet I can find that out pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. my uncle had a lot of his art hanging up. So I, 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 don't, know, I don't know the, the guy's name. Or, could be a gal, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that, that should give you an edge above your competition who don't think to do that. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, next one is another vintage. Uh, whoever donated, donated a bunch of vintage games. So this is a vintage Shark Attack. Shark Attack. Nice. Cool. And this will be one that I'll make a video of. Oh, heck yeah. There's a, there's a few in here that I've got that I'm going to get to make make fun videos for. Um, so I made a list so I wouldn't forget. Okay, so Shark Attack, again, picked up for a dollar, and I saw them anywhere from 15 to 30 in that range. Is that what we do? Do you tell, like, what you think? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Because when I forget to tell, I get yelled at quite a bit. Right, right. <laughs> then people say, what would you buy it for? Oh, they don't use that tone of voice. I'm sure they use it very much nicer voice. So Alphabet Soup, oh. another bit. Game. I've never seen that, that game before. I had that game. So yeah. that one was again a dollar, and it's between ten and twenty bucks. It's not as as fancy. This one I'm excited about. Mm. This is the 1984 Candyland. Oh crap! But it's missing <laughs> one card. Oh. I know, and it's an important card too. But anyway, what was it going for? Probably fifteen to twenty bucks. But it's the one where it's like. You get stuck in the goop. Nice. You know, and then where's the guy? Look at the the Lord Licorice. Can you see him? Lord Licorice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so that, let's see. I got a couple other games I'll show you real quick. Perfection, like the old Perfection. That one. My mom never let me have that game or, am I going too fast? No. Or um, like I, I, love, I love before you go on. I love perfection. I totally forgot about that game that you just showed me. I never. I have. I have a smaller version of it, like a little one. Um, but my mom would never let me have loud games like Operation and Perfection because they made too much noise. So here's so, what I would do on that one, Margaret. I would make a video, but I would go all high. Do you have an iPhone? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I would go all high tech and do it in slow mo when they all pop up. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would be fun. awesome. Yeah. Oh, I something fell. Hang on. And then this is a big one. I couldn't find pretty much anything on it. It's ginormous. The Wobbler. I remember that. Huh. I'm trying to see it. Wait. Uh, bring, bring, uh, come back and bring it up a little bit. Is it the thing with the big ball? What? What oh, is it? No, I don't know this game. Yeah, you yeah, stand on it. It's huge. Hang on. Let me find a different picture on here. You were thinking of the pogo ball thing? Yes, I was. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, that's not it. <laughs> I had that. But... Can you see it? Yep. Like, you stand on it, and there's a ball that goes around in a maze. Oh, wow. Yeah, that seems maddening to me. It's giant. Anyway. So you could do a video of yourself falling off of it. That'd be a funny yeah. video. Well, the guy at the thrift store was like, it's all there. I know, because we were back in the back playing with it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> no, I know. You, I got your sweat all over you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. It's like awesome. He doesn't really talk like that though. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna go for, and it's huge. Okay. I feel like I'm going really fast. Oh, you're good. Okay, and then I got this. This is kind of creepy. It's almost like clown creepy. So, forewarning if you're scared of clowns. And I oh, I can't wait. So this is what I saw. Battery operated, bump and go. You know, and it's all taped up, so I couldn't really see. I saw a little tire, and so I just did a quick like look up bump and go, and of course they came up and they they sell really well except for the one I got. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> but here it is. <laughs> it's a creepy, crazy Santa bump oh and go. Oh, that was awesome. awesome. That's really cool. And that one doesn't sell well. No, it wasn't as. Some of them go for like ninety dollars oh. and up, and this one was like maybe twenty. I mean, that's still good, but yeah, but that's a really cool. I don't know. Maybe I should list it for higher. But and I was excited because it's not, you know, I was worried. Oh, is it going to be corroded? But it wasn't corroded. Yeah. So, Somebody just saw the bump and go clown in the chat. Hey, uh, pension pesos. You remember what you got for it? Did you really? Oh, well, I had it listed for two years. So maybe now the wow. is the hot time for bump and go. Right, right. She's, yours was a clown. Ooh. Okay. Mine's the hey, same. Hey, uh, are you? Do you have any more games? Uh, I have one, but I can stop. 
No, no, because I want to share something. But go ahead. I, I want to share something. Uh, a little tip on how to sell games better. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of room. It was a Harry Potter. Seen it. Harry Potter. Seen it. Now, see, I wouldn't, one, I wouldn't even think to pick that up. Those kind of things seem played out to me. That's a good one? Yeah, well, this one, I paid $4 for it. Um, the funny thing was that the pieces are selling for more than the game complete. Get out. Like, that's awesome. Wow. I saw the, just like, because they're little metal pieces, the metal pieces and the two dice, they're multiple solds for like 20 25 bucks. And then some of the, like, complete games selling for 15 I'm like, what? Yeah. So, so are you going to break it up, or are you going to sell the whole game? I may try the whole game, and then if it sits for too long, I'm going to pull it apart and do it that, that way. Yeah. All right, so here's a little tip for selling games. And uh, take any game, and Margaret, you do the same later. Take any of the games that are sitting next to you. Just put it into, let's do Candyland. Put it into eBay and, and look at the listings. Here is what you see, I would say, at a rough estimate, 75% of the time. The first picture is the game in the box. Now, that does not look like fun to me. That does right. not look inviting like I want to play that. When I do games, uh, this is how the first picture looks. That's like, awesome. And, but and, most of the games that I find are new. Well, if they're yeah. sealed, yes, of course. But yeah. And even this one, my assistant did it. I, what I tell them, and he kind of got close, is make it so they're in the middle of a round. So if somebody's looking at it like, oh, I could so jump in there and move from left to right. This one he kind of splayed it out a little bit, but it's still cool. But that is so much more inviting than this. This is very boring mm -hmm. and yeah. very sterile. You still need that shot because it kind of shows the depth of the box and everything, but this is your opening shot. Yeah. At least that's yeah. what I find, and I sell my games tend to be better. But but look at them, because some people do that. Look at all the candy lands. The ones that will stick out to you are the ones that look like they're in the middle of having fun. Yeah. That's a great tip. Um, I don't usually, unfortunately, I guess I should start doing it. I just, if, if it's opened, I just leave it, because I don't want to have to count the pieces and deal with, like, you know, some kids scribbled on the cards or something. And right. so I usually, if it's sealed, I buy it. If it's not, but obviously that's not a good rule, so I should probably start well, you somebody, some effort into, but somebody in the chat said the uh, friends seen it sells for forty to fifty. Now, see, that's something I wouldn't pick up. I didn't think any of those scenes were worth it. But thanks to Margaret and to Canadian Kevin, Canadiana Kevin. Now I know. I'm gonna look at them. I just picked up two friends games. One was a seen it, and one was something else. Um, because they're they're gonna have like a reunion or something coming up. So, yeah. Yep. Pieces, as Angelique said, yeah, that's true. Now, do you do you look at in the store to make sure they're they're that they're complete, or you just take a gamble? If I can, because my Goodwill tapes everything, like really, yeah, like they tape everything shut, almost and and to the point too where it actually rips the boxes. So yeah, but, what um, they obviously do that because they don't want people stealing pieces and whatnot. So, but like when I find them like this. I just kind of like... I'm talking like heavy packing tape. Yeah. When, usually if I find those, it's like, no, I can't Yeah. I can't do much with it, you know? Yeah. All right, now you got some stuff handy there? Now it's quiet at your room for a few minutes? Okay. Might so as well see I'm going from my listing pile. Some of this stuff is already photographed and ready to list if I don't break it. <laughs> so I have this adorable... It's a actually a... Um, it's a tall uh, Cardew... And it's a it's a mini teapot, and it's all cats. So you have crazy cat people love cats. So oh, yeah. this one, I'm expecting to. It's really cute. Again, if I don't break it. Yep, um, that's always. Looks a like key. it's missing a bottom. Is it one of those that's, that has a cup that it sits in the cup? No, or, I I don't think so. I hope it's not missing anything. There, I did see another one listed, and I don't think it was missing anything. Okay, no, maybe it just looks that way. Yeah, Sorry. I don't think so. But. Yes, somebody said no kitties on the stairs. Yeah, oddly enough, she's oh. showing a kitty teapot, and there's not one cat <laughs> in her shot today. That's so um, I guess I'll go for all the breakables first before I break them. <laughs> this, this is really, really heavy, and I got it at Goodwill. I went in yesterday just for a little while, try to get my thirsty tip and my encounter and all, and um, I found this, and my girl um, that works there, she always hooked me up really good, and it does have... Um, it looks like there's a like a initials etched into it, so I know it's like art class, but I don't know anything about this stuff, and it's really really heavy. So I know it's, I don't know, it just kind of caught my eye, and I only paid a dollar ninety nine for it. So nice. That was very nice. 
Yeah, it's really heavy. I mean, like, like, like I, I know it's. Uh, and I have a. Does anybody know this brand? I paid 99 cents. It's a waiter's back. I probably am am uh, butchering the name, but it's waters back or waiters back. Oh, that German one, right? I'm half German, so I should know this, but yes, <laughs> it's uh, that's the yeah. See the bottom. Yeah. Of it. So I always pick up that brand of mug because they always do sell. And that's a nice uh. It's a nice coffee mug. Cause that's what it is, coffee. Yeah, I mean it's, but that that brand always sells. If you see that brand, grab it. Um, I've sold those before. Let's see. I'm trying to go for all the breakables here. I have a, I have this this cute little pig mug. That's. It's oh yeah. Of, it's a little 3D, and it's signed. I don't know, 80, 1988 Animals and Company. It's got a, like a signature on the bottom. Let's see the mug again. You went kind of quick. I didn't get a chance to. Mm -hmm. It's got pigs. I feel like they bought in one. That's cute. Snout to butt. Yes. <laughs> and it is signed 88 with that animals. I don't know what. I'll have to research that. I haven't researched it at all. Um, I don't know if I have any hey, uh, Margaret, that is a Remington painting on, on that game. Is it? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thanks to Barbara for pointing that out and double checking. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. So great to have, that's why I love having the ability to chat with everybody. It is, I'm always so bummed. The only problem with this setup is the chat goes away once you hit end. You can never mm -hmm. see. Okay, so I have a new old stock in the box, and it is it is like the cord is all it's brand new in the box. It's a Vidal system. It's, it's upside down. It is? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be because the other side is <laughs> it's the box is printed um and yeah. So anyway, it's a Vidal Sassoon. Um it's a it's a um, brush iron. I I don't know. It's uh I'm assuming it works if it's since it's new and the it has a Starbridge and Clothier tag on it from I guess the 70s <laughs> and someone paid 12.99 for it back then. And uh I don't know. I, I looked it up really quick in there. I think there was one that was in the box that was like, you know, like in the $25 range, but I got this for, it was two ninety nine. dollars it was half price, so I figured, go for it. So, I have to plug it in, obviously. I'm assuming it's going to work because it is new old stock. But, um, oh. it's, it's all in there, so, anyway. Um, yeah, I could use that. <laughs> <laughs> you curl your beard. Do you want me to keep going, or? Yeah, go ahead, uh, in the, in the chat, Turtle ah, Trader. There's, there's hang, on, hang, hang on. Hang on. Turtle Trader says, look above. What did what? I miss? So, Turtle, in the, put in the chat what I missed. Go ahead, Nay. Okay. So, this is, this is the item that I was talking about yesterday when I gave my tip to move the Gaylords or the big blue bins. Jason calls them Gaylords, which that's their appropriate name. Um, so I got the, I found this behind there. I pulled the thing out, and this mug was right back there. It's a vintage. It, it's made to look like wood. It's actually ceramic. It's a vintage Walt Disney oh. uh, bear jam, country bear jam, jamboree mug. Awesome. Yeah. Hang, on, hang on a second. Okay. There was blood on the saddle. Oh boy, you shouldn't sing. <laughs> that's how big, that's how big <laughs> Al sang in the country bear jamboree. Dad. I knew who you were trying to imitate, but. <laughs> There was blood all around. So on the back, it shows it just says Walt Disney Productions, and um, it was one ninety nine. I don't know if I paid that for it though, because for everything, um, I paid twenty one dollars. So I had wow. some discounts. That's in there. cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, this is if I don't break it, I'm going to. I saw one sold for around twenty five. I think I might try twenty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. See what, see what it does, you know, for a while, but it's in great condition right now. Don't break it, please. I know. I'm really, I've had a bad streak of breakables lately. So, do you want me to, do you want to turn it over to Mark? Right I have a couple more things, but. All right, I'll, I'll take it over for a little bit here. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's. I have, I have got, mostly clothing left, so. Yeah, all right, I got one pair of shoes that day, because the shoe section was crazy cramped, but these were behind the display case, and they're really nice Doc Martens. Oh. oh wow! Yeah, they are. And they were only ten bucks. Awesome. Now I don't think these are going to let me retire, but I felt uh, I didn't really do any research. I saw they were legit docs, 
they were ten dollars. I'm like, okay, cool, because uh, they're in good, good, good shape. Here's the bottoms. I mean, just great shape. So, uh, you know, that's the joys of living here. We don't have, uh, you know, where it's where it's cold. There's salt on the ground. That like really, besides eating up your car, it eats up your shoes, dries out your shoes. We don't have that here, so our stuff stays nice. Now, I am good at going in the purse section and picking out one good purse every time, at least one. And this brand was not on my radar, but doing a quick search, this is like a thirty to forty dollar purse, and I think the brand is the the Zidual. Huh? I don't know that brand. No. Rainbow makes me happy, so it has a name. But look how, I mean, look at the different mm. uh, patterns built into this sucker. It's awesome, and then all the hardware. This is a cool, cool purse, and then it folds over like that. See how cool? Wow, yeah, for sure. So I paid 3 bucks, and I think this is going to be like a $30 or $40 purse. That's cool. great. I haven't heard that. Pretty cool. All right, now this, I found uh, two of them, and I paid 250 And what's nice is they're the same thing. They're both in the same condition. All I need is to take one set of pictures. It was a promotional item for the coffee bean. It's a... Uh, like little, like you know, carry on, you know, over the shoulder briefcase. Okay. But it's got a sweet luggage tag on it too. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. So these are brand new, and I got two of them, so two fifty each. I didn't do any research then or yet, but I got to imagine these are at least thirty dollar bags. They'll be easy to ship. Yeah. No, nothing to break. And then my tip from last week was, uh, or maybe during my Periscope, I don't know I, I said it. Uh, when you go thrifting with a partner. Send them in line on sale day before you get in line, uh, so they're waiting in the long line, and you can look. So because of that, I got this sweet little Japan Airlines carry-on bag for a dollar fifty. Had awesome. I had gotten in line myself, I would not have seen it. I did a little research. This is not this is not a giant seller, but I'll get like twenty five, thirty bucks out of it. That's pretty cool. All right, Margaret, you are up. Oh yay! Okay, I've got some more stuff. I got I got a bra, sort of. <laughs> It's like a half under bra. I will show you the picture if it doesn't get you kicked off YouTube. Oh, it's a risque bra. Booby. Yeah. So it's Sherry of Hollywood, um, and it still has the tags and everything, which is one of the reasons I got it. I don't know. I just can't. I'm not going to model it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, you know, one of those. Little... Hollywood blue. Now, real quick before you go on, I actually have a bra story that happened today. Okay. I got a return of one of my giant bras. Uh, it was too big for a woman. And it sat here on my desk, <clears throat> and I hadn't relisted it yet because I had another one of the same size. So, th of, and I have probably 20 different sizes for sale right now. I sold one bra today; it was that size. So I just grabbed my return, stuck it in a fresh bag, and didn't even have to go hunt for it. So, oh, nice! Of all the bras to sell, the one sitting on my desk was the one that sold. That's awesome. And that was a 40i. Okay. Is she doing She's, she's like, oh, wait a minute. That's how much bigger. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were doing math there in your head. Yeah. Okay, then this I got. Um, I couldn't find anything on it. It's like a, you know, aviator type. Oh, yeah. That's that's adorable. And then, but it's green. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it looks brown. Yeah, hey, uh, turn it it's back. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can see how it would be green, but yeah, it's showing up a little brownish. Maybe it'll be tricky to. I guess you'll have to, you'll have to probably take it in outdoor light, like natural light, to get it. Yeah. Oh, come on, be ballsy. Put it on your head. You can do it. I you get lice. I'm gonna shave my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a, if you need to take a screenshot, now's the time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> awesome. Anyway, <laughs> there's no. Um, I can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh! If I get the bugs, I'm coming. I, I am a bad influence, aren't I? <laughs> I'm, I'm worse. I'll just try them on in the thrift store. I'm just like, yeah, right, okay. <laughs> this is true. Tanya had one on the other day that she got it. I was like, ah! I know. I'm I, asking I, for trouble. So. I'm like, I'm like I yeah. The kids get lice all the time. And but it's. Been, and here's the screenshot. Daycon. I saw the Daycon. That's the 70s. Daycon. Yeah. Yes. But there's no maker, so I have no idea. It was 50 cents. Oh, no. you can't pass it over 50 cents. Yeah. yeah, that should be 70s, though, because that's when Daycon had its day. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 
Okay, I'm going to show you jewelry, and then tell me if I'm taking up too much time. Okay, then I got some more cufflink sets. This one, Giorgio Petrino, but this one's only going for about twenty-five bucks. I paid three, but then this one, David Donahue, I paid three as well, and it's a fourteen karat gold filled, um, and his brand sells at Nordstrom. So uh, I'm guessing I'm I'm going to probably put these around a hundred. That one. And would you? I'm sorry. Would you pay? Three dollars. Nice. Yeah. And then these were just kind of thrown in the, into one of the boxes, just another set. They're, they're not marked. So usually with this type, I'll put them up for about 10 bucks. You know, they're not marked or just kind of blah. Um, should I go on? Yeah, go on. Okay. And then I got a little kit. I started picking these up. This one I scanned. This I picked up for 99 cents. Um, and on Amazon, there's a, a listing, someone selling it for 20 bucks. Pack it up a little bit. Yeah, so people can see the whole thing. There you go. Pig. Pigtails. And then I got two patterns. This one is in Spanish, and I couldn't find it. Simplicity, and it's like um, Fiesta Niñas. But to wear to your like, sister's quinceanera party. Exactly, but they're all princess dresses. Very you know? cool. Very nice, yeah. That's so, cool. But the problem is it's all in Spanish. Well, it's not a problem, but I'm just saying. But seamstresses, like people that sew, like the symbols are the symbols are the symbols, right? I wonder if you should put like Espanol in the in the yeah. keyword so that you know maybe somewhat Spanish speaking people will yeah. La, La Princesa. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't find it. I could anyway. Uh, so I didn't know what that was gonna go for. But I bought it for eighty cents. And then this one was eighty cents too. I like oh, the cost. That one's great. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's awesome. This one, what did I see? It was going like twenty to twenty five bucks. I saw one sold for eight, but there was another one sold for twenty five. Yeah, people undercut themselves and they undercut yeah, themselves and they undercut the rest of us else, when the going rate should be twenty twenty five. Take an eighth silly. Did you see what I got for the matrix patterns? I saw no. them in Amazon. I picked up um, it was a Morpheus and Neo Matrix patterns, uh, for it was either a quarter or, or fifty cents and they sold for sixty dollars. Wow, that's nice. awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay, I've got three three maybe three more things. Okay. Oh, three more things total? Or four. Okay, yeah. then, then you save them. We'll, we'll come okay. back to you then. Okay, yeah. you, want me to, you want me to do yep. it too? you? Nay, you're okay. up. So I found these. They have to be They have to be touched up a little bit. You know, I'll just a little too polish on the back, and then I'll mention that. And there's a little wear, but the brand is why I bought them. They are, and they're vintage too, Kohan. Ooh. So nice. I picked them up, and they're a size seven, medium, and they are um, they're in really good shape. So they're uh, they other good. than the other than you know like the scuffs on the back and a little scuffler on the bottom. So I'll just touch them up a little and they'll put so. And I paid. They're marked five ninety nine, but I knew I didn't pay that. Um, so. Somebody loves you. That's why. So, yeah, somebody at, at at a certain goodwill does. <laughs> So, let's see, I found a, It is definitely ahead. nice to have friends in the thrift store. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, <laughs> I do have a, a definite friend there. So, we have a, this is, this is actually all photographed and ready to list, but it's been sitting on my desk. So, this is a women's size medium sweater, hooded sweater. It's got a nice little hood on it. And it's striped, and if you can see the... It's kind of like, you know, it's got that, like, knit, it's like that netted knit that you can mm -hmm. kind of see through. But if you look at the tag, it's brand new with tags, and it's Tommy Bahama. Oh, cool. And the tag, right on the tag is, um, you can if you guys can see the original price on there. Oh, wow. 148 148 and I paid $6.99. For, like, half a sweater, really. Yeah, and I paid six ninety nine for it, so I'm hoping wow. that will do well. It's in yeah. perfect, perfect new with tags condition. And would you like me to model it for you in your listing? <laughs> I think it, I think you would stretch it out a little. No, that that's okay. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are. I'll get wait are, wait. I'll get Margaret's bra and that sweater, and I'll be your, and I'll be your dummy. And the hat. And the hat. Yes. And the hat. There's, I just got. There's my Halloween outfit for this year. <laughs> so we have these slippers, and they don't. They might not look like much. They're women's slippers. 
but the brand is why I bought them, and they're not, they're really not in bad condition, the fuzzies are a little, little, you know, they're a little fuzzy inside and whatnot, but they're, they're in pretty good condition, so the brand is why I bought them, you can see what they are, mm, Patagonia, yes, they're Patagonia, so I always pick up, so Patagonia. much Patagonia stuff, it's crazy, and I only paid a couple dollars for them too. I can't remember it. It was like maybe two dollars. So I, you can never pass up Patagonia for that price. Uh, Angelique said, "Oh my God, my eyes hurt from that image. Did you not see me dressed as RuPaul on my Facebook wall yesterday? <laughs> if that doesn't screw you up for life, nothing will." So I have. I've got like. Do you want me to just go through the clothes? Because I have a few more. Clothes. Yeah. Well, you got them. Yeah. So this okay. is a cute little tunic top. And I wasn't familiar with this brand. It's 213. It, it's actually a boutique brand. And I'm hoping to get around $30 for it. It's a cute little tunic. Yeah. Kind of yeah, see, that's the kind of thing that, you know, as good as I am, uh, mm -hmm. I would never look at that, ever. And, of course, it fits me, you know, so I, oh. I'm not keeping it. <laughs> right, and, some, some tights. That would be cute. I know. See, you guys, uh, you know, you know, I call myself, and everyone calls me big girl. You guys so outgirly me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anybody knows this dress, looks, you're gonna, you're all gonna say ooh, but look at the, okay, this dress. Oh, but, I'm saying ooh, yeah. Okay, but but there's a reason that I bought this. Do you know what this is, Margaret? Looks like Little House on the Prairie. Okay, or what but it? it is a. Does anybody know this brand? Well, come on down. Come on down. Nice. Guinea sacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Oh, I've heard yeah. of that. Yeah, so they, you always look for those. They're, they're usually, usually want to put, like, modest in the title, and there is an actual crowd for these, believe it or not. Wow. And it's a, it's a highly, I don't know if I want to say collectible or sought after, but people buy these, and they do go for... A decent amount of money. And the chat's loving it, so you can definitely tell when you've got something good. The chat's like, "Ooh!" Oh yeah, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's an awesome. That was an awesome find, and it's in really good condition. Yeah, and this is, if anybody, I, I'll show you the tag on this because this is new with tags too. It's linen, and it, the bonus on this one is size 14, so it's you know a little, a little larger on the larger side. And I'll show you the actual. I'll show you the brand. If you guys don't know this brand, get to know it because you're going to want to buy it. Come down. Come closer. Yep. We get that catalog here about every other day at our house. Athleta, yeah. So now if you look at the, it's, it's brand new with tags. And look at the price tag on there, the original price. Well. 58? Uh, 59, yeah. So. 59. Do I hear 60? <laughs> so that was a good deal. And then this is a good this is another brand that I always look for. It's this is this is size medium, but it's like one of those oversized kind of you know, like big kind of I don't know I don't know how to describe it. It's not a tunic, I forget the name of that wing sleeve. I think that's the name for it. I think. I'm not sure I should look that up, but you see the brand here. That's another yeah. good selling. It's another good selling brand. It always sells steady. It's not. It's kind of. It does. It used to do better for me than it does now. White House. It's White House Black Market, but it's still a good set, steady seller. I think it always will be. So, that's probably an easy twenty five dollars. And I picked this up yesterday, not because of the brand, but just because of the graphic on it. Oh, cool! Well, yeah. What's that say? It does not say pow. It says pop. <laughs> yes, Nadine goes, look, I got this awesome sweater that says pow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, did you did you stop reading before the end of that long word? <laughs> so now the brand is is the kicker on this. It is a Target exhilaration, but it's it's an older one. So I'm going to take a try. You know, I'm going to take a stab at it because of the just because of the cool print on it. Oh yeah, that's an oh, awesome. Yeah. So, I would absolutely pick that up. And then I've got. Um, do you want me to save a couple for... Yeah, let me okay. hop back in here. Okay. i got two tubs at my feet here. All right, so I love finding cool sports coats because what you can do, if you don't know sports coats at all, just look at the whole rack. If you see one that looks kind of younger and hipper, look at it. So Billabong is a great uh, surfwear company, oh, yeah. and this is a bitchin' coat. I'm going to have to stand up to show you. 
I love the lining. Okay, what's Ooh. cool is look at the pocket. Oh, oh wow! I love you got, it. You got the stripe. Where am I? You got the stripe on the sleeve. Yeah. You got the you know you got this cool interior. You've got you know it's checkered, so it, it's a it's a bitchin' coat, and uh, this was uh, I, I paid eight bucks for this one. But these kind of things, I can probably usually get like forty to fifty bucks because uh, the surf crowd definitely likes this line. And hey, every once in a while, you got to be somewhat casual, you know, business <laughs> casual. So you're gonna need something. <laughs> <clears throat> this was uh, a really cool find that I can't wait to do a little research. Oh, uh, I'm gonna share this in the thrifting board. If you're not, if you're watching this, and you're not in my Facebook group. Down below, there is a link to the thrifting board. Come on in and join us. I found a very cool NHL sweater. So it's an official it's an official NHL sweater. Cool. But it's wow. written in French, so obviously it came from uh, north of the border. And I didn't know who this was. So when I, I'm not a hockey fan. Uh, I don't dislike it. I just don't follow it. So when I was searching, I found the most awesome YouTube video. It's a minute and a half. And it shows every logo from every hockey team from the start of the NHL to today. Oh, so cool. it just kind of quickly goes through them. It says the year, and this is the Winnipeg Jets. Thanks to that. Now it's a cool zip-up sweater. It's a cardigan. Nice. Uh, it's got little fuzzies. I will be taken off, but it was only five bucks, and I thought it was cool. And I couldn't find anyone selling anything like this. No, so, cool. I thought, I thought that was very neat. Now here's a sports coat I passed up. I looked. I pass it up, I pause and went, I should research that. Oh, it sells for $50 every day of the week. I will go back and get it because I'll pay $5.50. So here's the brand. Because, you know, when you think of, uh, oh, here's the brand. The, oh, yeah. Uh, where am I? There we go. Levi's Western Wear. Oh. So that was the kind with the yoke and the the uh, patches on the elbows. Cool. Uh, let, me, uh, let me stand up. There you go. So, yeah, so that that's 50 bucks every day. Nice. Yeah. So I saw it. It caught my eye, but I paused. Oh, I just sold a Michael Jordan uh, jersey. Hey. Yay. For $70. Look at that. I, I sold a score on our haul. That was mine. I'm waiting for mine. <laughs> All right, so this uh, this was seven bucks. It is. It's a Green Bay Packers. Yeah, that's your team. Yep, it's a Green Bay Packers uh, soft fleece vest. Oh, but wait, it is reversible. <laughs> two, two vests in one. It's a tag in the pocket. So there's the other side. You. Oh, cool. Are there yeah. tags in the pocket? You know, I didn't even check. Look this in one's the pocket. seven bucks. They're usually in the pockets on the reversible ones. And uh, seven bucks, and I didn't do any research because I'm like, Psh, that's an easy seller. Absolutely. And hey, just like Nadine said, there's the tag in the pocket, ladies and gentlemen. There's a tip for you guys. If you see a reversible item, the there tags will be located inside of one of the pockets. So. Uh, Don, you want to know what I'll start the jacket at? The... Uh, the 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 uh, Levi's one it'll be about fifty bucks I'll probably do sixty nine ninety nine shooting for fifty, and then uh, this was the one that again I was kind of like mm, I don't know I better check, and I checked and every single one that was listed in the last couple weeks sold so I'm like oh shit gotta get that, so and, and here's another tip uh, I actually probably if I would have known Nadine's tip I probably could have found the tag I couldn't find the tag at first that's why I was hemming and hawing, yeah right, this one's gonna be even trickier to show, it's a full length duster, oh wow. Oh, but wait, it's reversible. It's also a rain slicker. Oh, my gosh. So when it's not raining, though, it's got to be hot as hell to have the slicker against you. Ah, uh, so check the pockets again. I want to see if there's a tag there. Okay, so it's still cool. It's a full-length duster and raincoat, but here's what I found. I looked at the buttons, and the buttons have the brand on it. Oh, I can't see it. Looking... Yeah. It says Marlboro. Oh, well. Is it really? <laughs> yes. So if you look up this jacket, there's been like 10 solds in the last couple of weeks, all 50 55 $60. Wow. So I paid 7 bucks. I was like, 
Hell yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Pockets, check them. I will. I will. I'll, I will when you're up doing something. Hang on. All right. And then I showed this on the uh, on my uh, Periscope. I paid $4.50. Uh, the brand does not matter. I'm not even going to put in the titles. No big deal. It is from the guys who did the staging company. So stage company. Oh, yeah. They do staging for concerts. And this was from the Bon Jovi Have a Nice Day Tour. Oh, wow. So this is what the specifically the stage crew would be wearing. So this is a bitchin' thing. You can never buy it. And people love when you can find stuff like that. Whoosh. All right, Margaret, uh, let's pop back to you. Okay. So I picked up a couple more things. I Well, I forgot the other ones, but I picked up two headsets. This is a Sony AM-FM. I have to see if it works. I need to get some batteries in there. But I picked it up for a dollar and I've seen I see sold for about twenty, nineteen, twenty dollars. No. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was, I was answering a question no, and it got yeah, real quiet. Looking at because someone's saying that um <laughs> someone's saying that their screen is green and someone's saying that you're echoing. I do hear a little bit of an echo, but there's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. No. What you should okay. do is wear wear the uh, um, uh, the bra, the hat, and the headset. <laughs> and I have to find some roller skates. Yes. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <But> anyway, <laughs> I need to get this one listed pretty soon. This is a Garfield. Oh, it's awesome. Mug, and it's in the shape of a you know shamrock hat, or you know what. It is. And on the back it says, "I tip me, wait, I tip me mug to ya." There we go. So anyway, I I always oh, think Garfield. Garfield, awesome, yeah. yes. But yeah, that that added bonus of the being shaped like the the yeah. leprechaun hat is just awesome. Yeah, and it's good timing. One. Yeah, I gotta get that up. Yes. And then I picked up this another one I couldn't find a whole lot for. <laughs> Film exerciser. Wait till you see the guy though. Wait till you see the guy. Wait, you can't unsee it. That's the problem. <laughs> oh wow. All right. That is it. <laughs> All right, so the bra, the hat, the headset, drinking out of that mug, doing the exerciser. There's yeah. the video you got to make. <laughs> I would make yeah. so much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's very serious. Anyway, um, wow. I paid three dollars for it, which was kind of a lot, but I don't know, maybe fifteen or maybe twenty if I'm lucky. I didn't see that exact one out there. And then I got this. They're not quite fat quarters. It's wool, and they're rolled. Um, they're a little bit smaller than fat quarters, though. But I paid oh. 99 cents, and I'm thinking I'm gonna probably put it up for 30 dollars. Yeah, it's all wool. Yeah, that's that's great. Mm -hmm. It's not quite a jelly roll, if you know what I'm talking about. I did not find the tag, Nadine, but here's what I did find. Okay. You can now you now know for oh, no, sure. Did you find did you find a hidden treasure in the pocket? Oh yeah, you oh, now no. know for sure it was a smoker's jacket. Oh here's, no. The, here's the top wrapper to the pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> but no tag that's yet. Funny. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said now we know why Jesus was so fit based on that picture on the side of that box. Oh my gosh. Okay. He was a hairy dude. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, I have one more. Do you want me to, you want me to do it? Uh, let's save it. Let's save it. Is it awesome? It's awesome. Okay, I think. let's save it. Nadine, what do you got? Okay, so I am going to try to sell this, even though I know I I, I tried my hand in CDs yesterday and I kind of came up empty, but I'm going to try to sell this one. The Irish Pub. Yeah, angle it down. Volume there you go. two, even though. Jay said that it's probably not going to do No, well. no, that one will do okay because it's the right time of year, too. That's, yeah, and I did see what there's one up for sale, not a completed for 25 right now, but and there's a couple others for around 20 so I'll put it up somewhere in there. So, and then we have a retail therapy mug. Nice. Yeah, it's just one of the brand is delish. Funny enough, I found a, a, a mug somewhat like that. I'm not going to show it because we're gonna, I'll use it as a prize for something we'll, we'll do in the future. Okay. We're and I way. always, if you guys saw my one score yesterday, it was sewing. It was sewing notions, vintage sewing notions. There were three together, and I often do that. I will put, you know, buttons together in a lot. I'll put 
snaps together and a lot. I'll put zippers and a lot. And they always sell consistently, you know, maybe between, maybe $15 a lot. The one yesterday went for 12 which, but I always go for these. When I find vintage sewing notions in a big lot bag like this, like for some reason I, I find these often. I don't know why, but... Cool. This, is, this is like the third lot of these I've bought. This was $4.99 at Goodwill. But if once I take this apart, there's some good stuff in here. There's a lot of, and, and some of it people use too for as advertising, you know, like vintage, just for the, the packaging. They like the, like for example, we were talking about this yesterday, the rickrack. There's a whole bag of, of vintage, you know, just the rickrack. Right now. And then, oh. You know, Sorry. You think your camera's way higher than it actually is. Come on down. Yeah, Come on down. It's, it's, I'm going parallel to the camera. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I'm actually below the camera now. So. And there's some cool other cool stuff. Like, oh, I'm trying to find one okay. thing in particular Another. in here. There's so much stuff in here. I haven't even gone through it yet. But there's bias tape and there's some, there's some vintage snaps and zippers and whatnot. But there's... This is a, a bodkin. There's What's that? Thing. It is uh, a very tiny bias harpoon. tubing for fabric loops, belts, and decorative trim. Oh. But there's one thing that's really, of course, I can't find it. There's like three of them in here, so I'll put them in a lot. They are Happy Home Rust Proof Needle Books. Oh, nice. Yes, and most of them are, this one is not complete, but there's a couple in there that I did see that were. Yeah. Uh, mostly complete. So there's a few of these different the packaging. Know, different. Yeah. So people actually, I will put, you know, advertising, vintage, you know, advertising in the, in the title, yeah. and some people do buy them for that. And any uh, vintage coin buttons for my Hawaiian shirt that's missing one? I don't think there's any. There's some snaps in here. This, yeah. this one is really badly ripped up, but there's there's a couple of sheets of snaps like that. I don't see any actual buttons. So there's. And, and what'd you pay for the, all that? The bag was four ninety nine, but I don't think I actually paid that. But you know, even if I did, it's not. There's so much stuff in here to go through. So I mean, vintage. There's so many trims, and so I'll put probably all the trims, all the rickrack, and a lot, all the needles, all the you know the, button, the zippers, and a lot. And I will probably get around fifteen dollars a lot. For nice. Yeah, so that's that's the way I do these when I find the vintage sewing notions. And then I've got two more things, and I'm done. There are, this is just a 42D bra that's, um, let's say. New with tags. Yeah, it's new with tags. That's why I, I picked it up, and it's. Oh, we have a cat. Oh, yeah, we do. So that's a Milo. Oh, I don't even know what what I don't even know what the heck. Let's see. Oh, it's a Playtex, yeah. It's just a Playtex, uh, but it's a 42D and it's it's new with tags, so that's always a good thing. Yeah. And I have another one that's a Liliette that is also new with tags. And I've had these in my listing queue for a little bit. I actually just took pictures, but I think at my Goodwill bras are 2.99 a piece, so. You can't go wrong for larger size. This is also a 42D. They're both the same size, so. All right, so I'll, I'll take you back right, right off of that to show mine. We all bought bras this week. Oops, that's the back of the. That'd be the back of the bra. Mine's like half a bra. I don't know. Mine, uh, mine's new with tags. I did pay six bucks, but here's what this was going for. Holy moly! What I I I missed that. All I see is the size. Yeah, yeah, it's fifty uh, triple D and it's new for oh. forty eight dollars. Okay. So. Uh, At that point, yeah. brand doesn't matter, but what brand is it? It is. Hang on a second. It is. I have no idea. There's all these tags and there's no brand name. On the back of the on the yeah, back. Hang on a minute. That's where weird. The, where That's the a clasp lot of is. Not having the brand. On the very back, on the inside, where like where the claspy part is. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. I have no idea. Did you look there where I'm saying? I'm looking. I'm so looking. Inside oh, wait, there it is. Catherine, uh, Catherine's Intimates. Oh, my. Does it, uh, uh, when it's that size, it really doesn't, yeah. doesn't matter. I think Catherine's is a plus size store. Oh, I think you're, it's Catherine's with a C, right? Yes. Yes, that is a plus size chain store. Yes. Now that I know. That's correct. <laughs> Margaret yeah. is correct. All right, and, and they and I have talked about Nick and Nora about a thousand times here. 
So these were uh, $3, and they're the, they're the ones with the feet. Nice, nice. But don't forget, do not use onesie. Gerber, the company, owns the brand onesie. Uh, mm-hmm. You can use footed pajamas, but if you use onesie, your listing will get pulled. Now, my wife showed me this. There's no brand. It's homemade. It's vintage. I loved it. I bought it. It was cheap. And then I noticed all the damage to it. <laughs> Whoops. So here it is. Bitchin' house coat. Oh. Ooh, like padded, quilted. Yeah, but here's the problem. Let me, let me find a good one. The quilting's all just, just disintegrating on the inside. Oh. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but see right there? Ugh. That's the quilting pulling away. See? You can kind of see through it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's inside. You know, it's not the material. That's itself. actually a form of dry rot. Yeah. Um, I mean, so. it's still bitching. I only paid three bucks. Mm-hmm. The problem with that is, well, I, I, I guess it could maybe be professionally clean, but as it gets washed and worn, it's going to, that kind of yeah. wear is just going to show through more and more. And, it's and actually, I only paid two fifty. I lied, so. Yeah. So, uh, I'm probably going to throw it in my booth at my antique mall now because of that. Yeah. What are you going to sell your Nick and Nora for? I have a question about that. Well, the, the, and, and that one's very generic. You know, Nick and Nora come with these vibrant ones. That one's kind of generic, even though it's cute with the feet. But yeah. I'll probably get like 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. Because I saw some and I didn't get them. I saw Nick and Nora yesterday. They were like pink and they were like pajamas, tops and bottoms, and they had like sock oh. monkeys on them. Oh. I just sold a top for twenty bucks yeah. yesterday. Yeah, you can easily get you can okay. easily get thirty dollars, oh, thirty five dollars yeah. a set. But then it's kind of like pilly. Like the whole thing was a little bit. Right, like... Well, if it's pilly, then I would I would leave it behind because there is so much of it. But if it isn't yeah. pilly, or easy to sell. what I do is if it's I mean unless it's really super pilly and faded, I have a clothes shaver and I just go over it. It takes all those pilly things yeah. off. Because it was there was a lot of it, and I was like, oh. yeah. In that case, probably not worth it. But if you know, okay. Uh, yeah, somebody's asking, I do have an antique booth. It is in Sin City Pickers. It's on the corner of Wyoming and Maine here in Vegas, right behind the Stratosphere. So if you can find the Stratosphere, which you should be able to, you can find uh, my antique mall. All right, I'm going to blow through the jeans here. We'll see Margaret's last thing, and then I'll show you the last two things I got. Uh, we always talk about silver tabs, but I wanted to show you some of the different labels. So there's one. It'll be inside. And this is the silver tab baggies are what you're truly looking for. Uh, and I paid, I don't know. Five to seven bucks for each pair of these. So there's, there's one. Ooh, somebody smoked him though. I bet it was the Marlboro man. <laughs> Here's a different silver tab label. Uh, these are also baggies though. So as you can see, and that's why we do the shot when I do my jeans. I do the shot inside like this uh, as one of the pictures because it shows the tag really nice. Ooh, and these will sell depending on the the cut. Uh, these will sell anywhere from thirty to hundred bucks. Now, these are super cool. Uh, they're silver tabs. They got a little tiny tab. And it's this is the silver tab inside, but it doesn't say baggy until you look at this tab. Oh. It's going to be really hard to tell, but it's a way different color than any other ones I've ever got. It's even got a little like bit a of a different feel to it. charcoal gray kind of. Yeah. But yeah, if you see it, kind of like. Is that a lighter denim? Yes. And if you see it, it's kind of like Margaret's hat. It's got a little bit of blue to it too, so it's kind of grayish blue. But you got to be able to, you know, see it in person to see it. Um, and then I'll save the best ones for last. So here's a different silver tab label, and these are relaxed. They'll still sell. It's a good size. It's 38. Um, and then uh, this is the silver tabs I was so excited to find because I had never seen them before. Didn't know they exist. Silver tab baggy pleated. Yes, because when I wear my jeans, I like to have that pleat in them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, I heard mom jeans are back. And what? No. <laughs> and then uh, this was a brand that uh, one of you taught my wife. We were somewhere at some event. Uh, someone else was speaking. And for whatever reason, she remembered this one tidbit. She found these jeans. I didn't know it. Jack of spades is the type of jeans. I was uh, unaware they were not on my radar. And she goes, yeah, I'm sure I learned that at one of your events. And uh, sure enough, um, I looked them up, and uh, depending on the cut, these sell anywhere from like $30 to $100. Wow. And uh, it's nice because they have exactly what it is written out for you right there. So this is 
straight, relaxed stretch, medium sand. I'm guessing medium sand's a color. So I paid four bucks. They probably get like thirty-five, forty dollars. Uh, oh, and then uh, I got two last things, but we're gonna pop over to Margaret here. Okay, my last thing I bought today, actually, and I and if you watch my videos and stuff, you know I don't like to spend a lot of money. I know you can spend money to make money, but anyway, I spent fifty dollars on this. But it's not Wait, you spent fifty dollars on this. Fifty dollars. Wow. So either I'm gonna keep it for Christmas or I'm gonna sell it and make like a thirty dollar profit. It's like the Lego Goblin War Hobbit. The Lego wow. Goblin King Battle. So back, oh, that's cool. Back it up so we can see the whole shot. There we <laughs> go. That's awesome. I'm assuming it's a sealed box. Yeah, well, they let me open it and check oh. and everything and all and everything is sealed in the bags inside. Right. Look. Oh. <laughs> but it's got like all the figures and the Goblin King and wow. so Either I'm going to sell it, I'll make maybe like a $30 profit if I sell it, or I may put it up for the kids for Christmas. So. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm sharing your picture because I had to change my shirt. I, didn't, I want everyone to be surprised. Oh. <laughs> uh, did, you have any, did you have anything to tease? Oh, gosh. Remember I told you to tease? Well, there are things that I didn't show. I'll just tell you that. All right. And I'll explain why I wanted her to tease, but let me show you what I put on. Oh, I got okay. who is the ultimate junk collector of all of us? It is Fred Sanford. I got this <laughs> bitchin. Now it's huge. It's a six X shirt. Like I can't even get them. It is so long. And you know, it's a hip hop brand, but this is such a badass shirt. I gotta find the right person for it, but it's a six X Fred wow. Sanford of Sanford and Son T shirt. That's um Oh, I can tease. No Do you know, Nay, who Sanford and Son is? No. What? Uh, was, I've never seen that guy in my life. Sorry. Oh. It, it was a sitcom in the uh, late 70s. It was about a mm -hmm. father, played by Red Fox, and his son, who owned basically a junkyard. So they okay. did what we do now, but it was just a junkyard. Okay. I've not heard of it. I don't recognize the man on your shirt. So. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I was presenting Margaret when I was standing up. So here we go. Let me... <laughs> the theme song was very famous. And here, yeah, I can't even. I can't he's always pretending to have a heart attack. That's why he's grabbing his heart like that. Oh yeah, he always said he was coming. His wife had died. And he, okay, people are giving me trouble in the chat now. <laughs> his his <laughs> wife had died, Sorry. and every time someone would give him just a grief, he'd be like, "Oh, it's the big one. I'm coming." Yeah, I wasn't alive for a whole lot of the '70s. So. <laughs> So that was uh, that was an awesome. I saw it. I passed by. I went, oh, he's like us. I gotta get that shirt. How do I All do right. a tease if I found something to tease? Okay, cool. All right, here's the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys. This is something that you know we always talk about. Buy old media. Old media always sells, uh, almost no matter the type. I rolled across a media I didn't know existed. Now that's very strange for me, but. Uh, here they are. Here's a bunch of them. I got like, I don't know, 27 here or something. Oh, wow. Okay, so these are called Video 8. Now, like I said, I was they were not on my radar. Ah, did I see Beetlejuice in the right corner? You sure did. Oh, that's not there is Video thing. 8. And so these are movies. And, you know, as far as I know, you would need an adapter to play them. So wow. I, I don't know if they're higher Any quality. Because... Why would anyone do this instead of just a regular VHS? Right. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know what, but I'm like, all right, I, I would have bought them no matter what, but I did a little research in the store, and I did come up with this. Um, I saw this uh, sold listing in the store, so I'm like, all right, I'll give it a whirl. Uh, but I would have anyway, because I like to research o older media that I don't know. So here's a lot of 12 that sold for uh, $90. Ooh. Nice. Now, I do think that Ghostbusters 2 is what helped sell that, according to their title. That's the rare one. Uh, but and there's, some good, on. there's some good movies in here, and then there's some rare things. So, as Nay said, yep, we all know Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're working on Beetlejuice 2 right now. Really? That's yep. interesting. City Slickers. Who, who doesn't love Pretty in Pink? Yeah, yeah uh, so Angelique's saying they made a video 8 converter to VHS. I know that. But why would you do this instead of just VHS? Like, what would the reason be? 
Uh, so and here and there's some movies that I know of, but they're just not real popular. This is Fat Man and a Little Boy mm, with uh, Paul Newman. We all know this one, Princess Bride. Wow, yeah. The um, Untouchables about Elliot Ness. That's awesome. Uh, National Velvet. Now we're going old school. The Young Sherlock Holmes, uh, Steven Spielberg movie. <laughs> <clears throat> and then this one I've never even heard of. Half Moon Street with Sigourney Weaver and Michael Caine. Wow. The Witches of Eastwick, everyone probably knows. Uh, Days of Thunder. Naked Gun, two and a half. Oh, I think OJ's in that, and that show right now is on about OJ. So, yeah. Uh, Welcome Home, Roxy Carmichael. This is a horrible movie. Sorry, my Nona Ryder. Heartbreak Ridge with Clint Eastwood. Awesome movie. Midnight Express. If you've never seen this movie, you should see this movie. It's about two guys in the 70s who try to smuggle, I think, heroin out of Turkey, and they got caught. And it's based on a true story. It's about all their time spent in this awful Turkish jail. Oh. Geez. Lord of the Flies. Yeah. I never heard of this one. Tom Selleck, her alibi. Cousins, The Mission, and then two more not on my radar. Let It Ride with Richard Dreyfuss, and The Whales of August with Betty Davis and Lillian Gish. Mm -hmm. All right, now I saved the two weirder best ones for last. Here is like a travel log for China and Tibet. <laughs> oh. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to lot the movies together, but here's the one that I can't find I think will bring good money. Scenes how they just left uh, today for their tour. Iron Maiden. No um, way! <laughs> yeah, so, if you're watching me on Periscope, cool. If you even have an inkling you like Iron Maiden, they are periscoping. And what's cool is, the lead singer is their pilot. And they have a 777 that they call Ed Force One, instead of Air Force One. Eddie is their mascot, and so they deck out the whole plane... And they took off from England today to fly to Florida for the first tour stop. So now's the time to sell stuff like this. Awesome. So uh, this is very cool. Uh, I will let everyone know how these sell because this is a unique thing. If it sells well, I'll highly recommend you hunt for them. If it's a dud, I will let you know that too. <laughs> All right, so the reason I asked Margaret if she has something to tease because Margaret does her own haul videos. She doesn't do them live like we're doing today. She does them, and then she puts uh, her outtakes at the end, which are always funny and adorable, and she's going to release her new one tomorrow. So I said, hey, have something to tease. Give it just a little flash to the screen. Oh, okay. I got two so don't, things. Don't, don't show the whole thing. Just give it a little quick flash. Oh, boy. Oh, I kind of liked ah, what I saw. I, I kind of <laughs> liked what I saw. <laughs> Here we All go. Right. So, Margaret, oh, tell, them, tell them about your channel, and what time are you going to put that video up? Uh, yeah, so my channel is Texas Gal Treasures. You know, I do haul videos, sales videos, some tutorials on things, um, just random stuff. And I don't know what time tomorrow I'm going to put it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you have another one to show? Quick. Oh, another. Well, it's going to be super obvious, but here goes. I don't know, what, but see, we, we know it's a belt, but what kind of belt? Oh, okay. Why? What's it cost? What's it worth? That's right. That's how, that's how you get people to tune in. Like, you're going <laughs> to see some of the same stuff, but you're going to you saw those two little teases. That's coming up tomorrow. Somebody in the chat had asked me to share something that, that sold this week, and I don't know if that's okay on this show. Oh, absolutely. So in one of my ride-alongs, I had gone to a, a thrift store that I like to go to, and I found a pair of cufflinks for a dollar, and I ended up taking them this week to a jeweler. They ended up being four, uh, 18 karat gold, white and yellow gold, 22 grams, and ended up walking out with $450. Oh, yeah. wow. So... That's why I always say, look at those men's accessories, because they are often overlooked. And you paid a dollar? I paid a dollar. Mm -hmm. oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, hang, hang on. Let me, let me get myself on the screen here. I bow to you. Very good. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you, dude, you did it. Yeah, so my, uh, my Periscope name is at Tiki Pug. I do at least one a day. Uh, today I showed how to, oh, and by the way, uh, that is Nay's uh, alarm beeping in the background. There's a short yeah, in it. Sorry. So somebody asked what the yeah. beeping was. Um, I did a Periscope today, how to ship a pair of size 66 by 33 jeans and just a little padded flat right. So I'm always doing tips, tricks, shenanigans, but I, I would say in every Periscope you can learn something or you can I can reiterate something that you're like, oh, yeah, Jay's right about that point. So, so tune into my Periscopes, and some of them are just fun and shenanigans.
But yeah. uh, this was awesome. We went a little over the hour, but, man, we had three good hauls. You're all done, Nate, right? You had nothing else? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, if you look down below when you're looking at this video later, you'll see the link to my store, to Nadine's store, to Margaret's store. So if you liked anything you saw, you want to buy it, buy it off eBay. If you want to buy it quicker because it's going to take me a while to list all this crap, uh, hit yeah, me up, yeah, and I'll be it. more than happy to cut you a uh, deal on the items. I've already sold three things I showed on a Periscope. So, you, can come. you know, people like uh, like the treasure. So thank you, uh, 106 viewers on a Friday afternoon. That is so awesome. Yay. Thank you, everybody. And I see a little visitor down here in the window. Yes, he uh, had to say hello. I'll say tell. Hi. Say hi. 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 <laughs> so thank you, Margaret, for being our guest today. Thank you, Nadine, for being my partner. And thank you to all of you who tuned in live and then to all of you who watch later. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday with 30 Business with Jay and Nay. And uh, we will also be back with another haul video soon. And I'm not shopping anytime this week, so we're going to have to find a guest for next week. It'll be their sole job to carry the show, so no pressure. Hit us up. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> thank you.